when I first received my phone call from the Archbishop to be pastor of St. Bernard's Church. He told me not to decide immediately, but to pray on it. And so I drove up to Sharon. And as I drove through the town, and drove down the street, New Street, where St. Bernard's Church is, I parked my car and came into the church. I knelt down and I prayed for quite a while. And I had this overwhelming sense of peace, of tranquility, that somehow God was saying to me, this is where I want you to be. And so after praying, I went back, gave the Archbishop a call, and said, I will accept the assignment. And now seven years later, I absolutely know it was the right decision. My name is Father Francis. Welcome to St. Bernard's Church. Come on in, I'll show you around. As we take a tour of St. Bernard's Church, and you enter the church, the first focal point is the altar of sacrifice. This is the cross of Jesus Christ. This is where he made his sacrifice and he continues to make his sacrifice every time we celebrate Mass. As part of that sacrifice, we also have in front of the altar a basket of food. The basket of food is the sacrifice we're asking each of the parishioners to make uh, on a weekly basis. And all of this food in this difficult economic time is given to those in our community that are in need. As our eyes focus on the altar, we then come back to our tabernacle. The tabernacle is the Ark of the Covenant. It is where the body of Jesus is reposed so that we would have communion then to bring to the sick during the week on weekends. And back in the tabernacle, we have the crucified Christ. To his left and right, there are two crosses. They represent the good thief and the bad thief. The one who said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. You will notice also that there's a, a piece of, of briar, a, a piece of a thorn material that comes out of the cross. And, and although Jesus' sacrifice saved us all, there are some yet not saved. And so that one single briar represents the ones that have yet to be saved. So this is our focal point, the altar the tabernacle, and the crucified Christ, and how he saves us by the two crosses either side. As we continue our tour of St. Bernard's Church, we come to our statue of Mary with a devotional area in front of it where people could come in and kneel and pray to Mary and receive her great consolation. Mary was the one that stayed with Jesus all during the time when he was crucified, and she was there for his burial. And so Mary becomes that wonderful lady, the mother of God, that helps us on our journey. As we continue our journey, we come to the Stations of the Cross. The Stations of the Cross are old stations, which depicts a church over 125 years old. They are not modernized, but they depict the journey of Jesus from his condemnation of Pilate, all the way around to finally his being laid in the tomb. The stations of the cross are most profound during Lent, and yet we see some people say them each and every day. Our journey concludes at the beginning.
the baptismal font, where people are received into the church through the sacrament of baptism. It is this baptismal font that begins the new life, a new life in Christ. This baptismal font normally takes center stage here at this side altar. But during our Easter time, we have the cross of the crucified Christ. And the crucified Christ will be with us until Pentecost. And then in Pentecost, the cross comes down and the baptismal font takes center stage again in this particular area. In back of the crucified Christ is a fir tree which comes from the reading of Isaiah. In the midst of thorns shall come up the fir tree. And the fir tree depicts the great love that God has for us. The love that is shown on the cross. The love that is shown to us in baptism. And we conclude with the words in the baptismal ceremony. As we have died with Christ in the death of baptism, may we rise with him to new and everlasting life. Thank you for taking this journey with us. I hope someday I see you in church. God bless you.